Alright everyone, this is Falza and this is my France England hybrid team um, in the 4 3 3 formation. It is an absolutely amazing team. Really enjoyed playing with it. Um, I know most of it's France and I'm not even sure if I can call it a hybrid because there's only three English players. But um, there are var variations you can put on it to make it a bit more English. But um, yeah, great team. Really enjoyed playing f with four at the back this time, which surprised me. But um, it's really good. In net, we had Steve Mondonda. Um, just really OP, as you can see. 86 diving, 83 handling, 81 kicking, 86 reflexes, and 83 speed. All of his stats over 80, except for his speed, and he's just amazing. Lots of really, really good saves. Made the easy look easy and the impossible look easy. Um, at left back, we have probably... Well, he, he wasn't bad. He was actually really, really good. Matayu. Um, of Valencia in France. Um, we got 74 pace, 73 passing, 68 dribbling, 77 defending, and 70 heading. His pace is really underrated. Sometimes he had that like massive burst of speed, and he was just, he was just really, really amazing for me. Um, as well as the other wing back, who well, not wing back, full back, who is uh, again amazing. This this team was just fantastic. Anyway, this is the order in which I made the team. So. First centre back we had Adil Rami of France and Valencia again. Um, 67 passing, 84 defending, and 84 heading. Absolute beast at the back. He's just a rock. Didn't did not let anyone through. Um, next centre back also French, but from Tottenham we had Eunice Kabul. 77 pace really really shows because it partners Adil Rami well and this guy put him in any team and it will be so OP. He got 77 pace. 80 defending and 83 heading. Um, he just he was the one, the one centre back who pushed forward a bit and like when it probably like committed for the challenges. Out right back is with a hybrid breaks off. We got Kyle Walker, um, amazing 91 pace, 70 passing, 76 dribbling, uh, 77 defending and 78 heading. Really really good all round player. Links in with um, the. The whole of the right side of this team really, really well because absolutely pacey. Um, from Kyle Walker, we link on to Jack Wilshire at right centre mid with 77 pace, 83 passing, 83 dribbling, and 72 defending. You know what? I did not notice he was left footed. I never knew that. Sounds so bad saying that, but I never did. So, obviously, in the same league and from the same country as Kyle Walker, that's where we get the. That's where I get the strong link from. Um, really, really amazing passing. I I'm not sure he scored any. No, he didn't score any, but really, really amazing passing. Um, then we went on to the right wing, which was Theo Walcott, with an amazing 96 pace, 70 shooting, 71 passing, 80 dribbling. Everyone moans about him. Well, ev a lot of people I know moan about him, saying, oh, oh he's not that fantastic, but he, he just is. He he's just so amazing. I mean, his pace... Is literally unbeatable, except by Biabani. But um, just Walcott, just a better all-round player than him, and you know what? He's just he's just amazing. Um, at striker, we had Olivier Giroud, which really really paid off. I didn't think it would. Seventy pace, eighty shooting, and eighty-one heading. He, he, he was on. He, he was always. All right, all right. Let's explain this. Walker always, Walker always pushed forward. Giroud always hung back a bit. The crosses came in, and Giroud just dealt with them all amazingly. Just, well, at six foot four, he just, oh, he, he just stood above all of the defenders and just headed and even volleyed some amazing goals. Um, and he, his dribbling felt really, really good as well because um, sometimes on the break, you've you, you've got Walcott with the pace and Carl Walker with the pace on the wing. But um, you, you thought I I'm gonna be unexpected. That 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 didn't make sense. But yeah, you try and be unpredictable, and you just do lots of dribbling with Olivier Giroud, and it really, really pays off because you really produce some amazing goals like that. Cracking left foot on this guy. Um, another really, really famous, and I I will even say legendary, even though I'm a Liverpool fan. Legend for Arsenal. Cracking left foot. We have Thierry Henry. Not just because he's the only fresh French left wing that's rare and I thought would fit into the team, but he's just amazing. Probably overshadowed by Giroud and Walcott, but in his day, he just would have... Oh, he's just everyone, but still really, really good nowadays. 
77 pace, 78 shooting, 83 dribbling, oh yeah that's it, but um, his dribbling just shows his cross is fantastic, so much so much curl on him, uh, delivered him into Olivier Giroud who usually slotted them home. Um, I guess the most expensive player of this team and surprise surprise and in form, after the inform with the Eintracht Frankfurt team, Jesus, I'm on a roll. But um, yeah, we have info on Matuidi. Oh, I had to put up from a CDM. Um, 79 pace, 77 passing, 76 dribbling, 81 defending, and 79 heading. This guy is so amazing. His shooting is underrated as well. But uh, this guy feels so fast. So, so fast. He, he's just amazing. I mean, just an all-round all -round player. Um... So, um, to link in Wilshire and Matuidi, there weren't many things I could do. Um, there were no rare players that filled that void. Like, either English and in League One, or French and in the Prem. Um, there was Joey Barton, um, which you could put in there if you want more of an English aspect on this. But, um, I went for Johan Kabai. People don't even like him on this game, but all of his stats are over 70. He's just amazing. 74 pace, 76 shooting, 81 passing, 78 dribbling, 75 heading. Not 75 heading. 70, 75 defending and 70 heading. This guy just completed the team. Um, as you can see, no one has no one has a dead link in this team at all. It's just amazing. Johan Kabai, his long shots are fantastic as well. He's got three goals in eight games because I, I played a lot of games with this team because um, it, it was just so fun to play with. I mean, instead of using my really, really good team, like which I've been in yesterday, and I think I might just use this because this is fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoy the footage, everyone. This has been Files, uh, and I will see you in a bit for the star player.
Yesterday, Yokan Kabai is our star player, and ju oh my god, just look at his stats. They're absolutely fantastic. If I were to read out every good stat, I'd just read out all the stats. His lowest is 67, which is attack positioning, which I find a bit, a bit nasty from EA, but um, because this this man is just amazing. Some really nice traits as well, but um, his best stat, which is vision, really just it really summarizes his game up because he he, he plays the passing game and he can pass almost anywhere, and he isn't half bad at shots. Um, his average price is relatively high for a non-shiny um, goal player. Well, it, it, if you ignore David Luiz Nogbonner. But um, Johan Kabai, really, 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 really good player. Totally worth it. He's got four-star weak foot, which is always helpful as well. But uh, go out and buy him. He, he'll, he fits into most teams. He'll, he'll do a good job anyway, even if he doesn't fit. Anyway, this has been Fazza. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. A bit of dodgy editing at the start. I'm sorry for that. But um, hopefully I will see you some other time.